Hey guys, my name is Brittany and thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel to see yet another video. Today's video, I finally received my BoxyCharm box in the mail and I'm so excited to go through it with you and do a get ready with me with the different products that are in there. So if you're excited for that, just stay tuned. Okay guys, so the first thing that I am going to be pulling out of my BoxyCharm box is the Volition Snow Mushroom Water Serum. And this is what the box looks like. And then inside there is this little water serum bottle and it's actually pretty big. Like that's about the size of my hand. So that's a really good full size product. And it says that this is an ultra hydrating serum powered by the superfood snow mushroom to minimize the lick of pores and leave skin visibly plumper and healthier looking. So my skin has been a little bit dry because of the winter season. So we're just going to try this out together. I did try it on one other um, occasion just to see how it was and honestly I couldn't tell that much of a difference but I really want to see what it looks like on camera so you just push this little button down at the top let it go and then you pull it out and you have just a little bit of the serum it does say take a pea size amount so I think about three or four drops is probably going to do it and my skin is very dry right now because of the winter season so I'm just warming it up in my hand and I am just gonna dab this all over my face especially up under my eyes because they are super super dark this holiday season has been very stressful and tiring so I'm getting to the point where I will be happy when it's over and then I'm just gonna take a tiny bit more and I'm going to go back over my nose because that's where my largest pores are on my face and right here on my cheeks. And then I'm just making sure to blend it all the way down to my neck. I would say that this would probably be a good foundation base for makeup. Um, let me see what the box actually says about it. Okay, so it says, what if mushrooms were your skin's next superfood? Meet Mother Nature's Moisture Magnet. Snow mushrooms can hold nearly 500 times their weight in water, creating a maximum surge of hydration and helping improve moisture retention. So, we shall see. It says that it has the snow mushroom marine seawater that helps to detoxify the skin, reduce shine, and minimize the appearance of pores. So let me zoom you in to where my pores are naturally. And I feel like it's done a pretty good job of that. I mean, I definitely can still see my pores on my skin. And it also says it has watermelon and apple extracts. And those are excellent sources of vitamin C and A, which visibly plump and brighten your skin. I don't know if it's like a placebo effect, but I do feel like this area up under here has gotten a little bit lighter since I put it on. And then it says it has lentil extract, which rich in vitamin B helps soothe and smooth while retaining moisture. So basically it's just trying to make your skin look soft, plump, and clear, and it has a brightening effect. So we're going to put it on up under, and like I said, it is pretty tacky on my skin right now. It does feel a little sticky. So I think that would be probably a good thing for my foundation to help hold my foundation on. Alrighty. So I am going to go ahead and put my base on because looking at these products, I don't see anything in here for like foundation or... Um, powder or concealer so I'm gonna go ahead and do those products and then I will be right back um, the last thing the Volution Beauty snow mushroom water serum was valued at $60 which is great because I believe I paid like $25 for this box total so it's a good way to get good quality skincare and makeup without having to pay a large fortune um, but the next item that we are going to be trying out is the Natasha Denona Peak Palette. It's a five pan palette and it says that it features 
Natasha's essential everyday warm toned eye pigments that she mixes and matches from her favorite palette. Um, this is a mix between her creamy matte and then there is one metallic shade in the palette. So this will be great for an everyday warm look. And we are going to go ahead and go on in with Jasper. So that is going to be this shade right here. It's just going to be that warm like pinky red. And we are going to go right up here. Now I like Natasha Denona eyeshadows. However, I don't think that they are worth the hype. Like there's no way I would ever, ever pay $48 for five eyeshadows and to me there is other eyeshadows out there that blend a little bit better and perform better even like the color pop shadows to me are better than hers but um we are i still like it and i do like the palette a lot and like i said it's nice being able to get something that i wouldn't normally pay for and ignore that little mark up there like of white. I tried to use the next product before this one and I didn't like it for the matte shade. So I had to kind of wipe off and then reconceal my eyes. So that's not her palette. That's just my mistake. We're not going to judge it on that. And we are just going to blend all the way up. And I will probably fast forward you through this part because I feel like you have seen many eyeshadow tutorials and what I'm doing is not going to be that different from what I would normally do. I do like that the color is not as intense as it looks in the palette, which is good. It's like nice buildable colors. I've never owned a Natasha Denona palette before because they are so expensive, so I mean, I'm impressed with the shadows so far. All right, and I'm going to tone it down a little bit with the brown color in the palette. And this color is called Thorn. It's right in the center of the palette. It's interesting how she set it up because if I was going to do it, I would do the metallic shade and then from light to dark. But she definitely played around with how she set up this palette. So that's nice to see. Okay, now I am going to add the the lightest shade in the palette and just lighten up right near my inner corner and this color is called is called Aya. If I had to rate this palette for blendability and the colors that you get the packaging, I would probably say a 3 out of 5. It is picking up on my actual texture on my skin which I don't like and it doesn't deliver full pigment now it doesn't have a lot of fallout so for that it's really good but for price I would probably say I would give it a one out of five because there's no way I would ever pay $48 for this now the next item that we received in the box is the Alamar Cosmetics Pero Primera Primer. It is a long wear sticky pigment based primer and it's supposed to give it a pearl dimension whenever you put it on your eyes and it can also be used for glitter glue and that is valued at $15. Alright so this is the Pero Primera Primer and it's pretty small. It's about the size of my index finger and I would say that this is a very sticky primer. I actually tried to use it for the top first to show you guys and it made my eyeshadow look terrible. So I hope that it doesn't do it on the bottom. I definitely think with metallic, 
eyeshadows you can get away with having a really really sticky base but it's not going to be good for matte for sure i am going to go in with that beautiful metallic shade called shine in the palette this is what it looks like we are going to just put this right on my lid right on top of that sticky base and then hopefully it will keep it on there and I'm just gonna go back in with that deeper shade and add it right to the bottom right up under my eye before I blend out anything and wipe away the fallout because I know that this is gonna leave me quite a bit So we did the brown color and then I'm going back in with Amara. I think I called it Jasper at first. That's that deeper red shade. So I said the wrong thing. And we are just going to connect the eye look together to the outer corner of the eye. And I usually like to start with darker shades closest to my waterline and then work my way down with the lighter shades. Alrighty. And then I'm just going to use that pretty metallic shade shine for an inner corner highlight. And I'm also connecting that down. Okay, so I'm just going to wipe all of this off, do my eyeliner, and then I will be right back. Okay, so now that my eyeliner is done, um, the next item that we have in our box is the... the Milk Makeup Kush Waterproof Mascara. It says that it is a waterproof intense black mascara with thickening heart-shaped fibers and conditioning hemp derived from cannabis seed oil. So all of that sounds really, really nice. Like I said before, I do like cannabis oil, but I don't know. This type of brush normally doesn't work out that well. It's supposed to be volumizing, but I would prefer a lengthening mascara. But we're going to try it and see today. It is... A very weird packaging I have like this texture issue where if anything sounds like that I don't know if you can hear it it grosses me out so um, it does feel like those 3d agendas from like back in the day but we are going to apply it and see if we like it I do like that it's waterproof especially during this time of year because I do have really bad allergies and my eyes water quite a bit so I think that that would be really really helpful and the brush is just so big because my eyes aren't very big that it's almost difficult to get in there I'm gonna finish doing this off camera because I think it'll be easier for me and it will give me a true opinion on whether or not I actually like the mascara one and then I will be right back to give you my final thoughts. Okay, so my final thoughts on the mascara is it definitely made my eyelashes very voluminous. Um, I don't think that it was that lengthening. However, I could just curl my lashes and that would help them stand up a little bit more. I think it's good that they have more of a natural mascara However, I do feel like I will be sticking with my Lash Princess. I think it was a good mascara. I really liked it, um, especially over some higher end brand mascaras that I've tried. So I think that one was good. And that mascara retails for four, sorry, for $24. And the last thing in this Harvest Boxy Charm box is the 
INT Cosmetics Lip Oil. It says that this is a, retails for $11 and this is perfect for those who want hydration and moisture but only a flush of color. This lip oil can easily be applied on the go or on top of lipstick for an added sheen. And I've already done my lipstick for today and it is very drying so I'm just going to put a little bit on there. Ooh, it definitely comes out super, super fast. Like you can barely squeeze. And then as I was applying, it just shot out at the same time. Um, ooh, that smells so good. It smells like vanilla cupcake or something. It feels as thick as a gloss, but without being sticky at all. So, and like I said, it smells amazing. It feels really good on the lips. And I actually used this yesterday and I absolutely loved it and I felt like my lips were really really soft by the end of the day so this is something that I love and this is a great find because it's not something that I would want to waste a lot of money on would be lip oil like that's probably the last thing I would think about however I think it's great that I was able to get it in a box so I didn't receive the December BoxyCharm box because I signed up too late in the month they have a certain cutoff date to where if you don't sign up right away then you will get the last month's box or the products that are left over in the last month's box. But I think overall this was a really great box. Let me add all this up for you and I'll be right back to tell you the value of this box. So in this box I got $160 worth of products and I feel like that's a really good value for only paying around $25. I just got their base box. Um, this is something that's fun and enjoyable when it comes to the mail you get excited and during these times especially I think that it is really really important looking back at my skin like close up in the mirror I think that the snow mushroom um, moisturizer or water serum sorry was probably one of my favorite things that I did get in the box it feels really good on the skin and it also minimized my pores um, the next thing that I like the most of course is the Natasha Denona palette I actually used it as a highlighter of that shine color and I feel like not only does it look natural it's like metallic without leaving a white streak so I feel like that shine color is just perfect for my skin tone and then after that I would say I really enjoy the lip oil I feel like it feels so good on the lips it smells great and it's just something that I will probably use every day like throw it in my purse forget about it and then use it whenever I feel like my lips are dry the next thing I think I liked was the milk um, mascara I think it's great to have new mascaras I mean I like trying out higher brands without having to pay that price because the mascara that I use is like four dollars and then the least the thing that I like the least is probably this eyeshadow base now I love having a good eyeshadow base however this is so strong I think that that actually worked against it because it did leave my eyelids super super sticky and if you aren't really fast at eyeshadow or you're not a pro, then I feel like you're going to have a hard time with this. So I don't think that it's user friendly for most people. I was actually really lucky um, when I went on BoxyCharm to renew my subscription because they had a coupon code to get $10 worth of add-ons, which is coming soon. I still haven't received them. So once those come in the mail, I will let you see what I got. And, um... They also had the same coupon code. You were able to get the Queen eyeshadow palette by Eloise. And this eyeshadow palette is huge. And it has so many different colors. Um, I haven't even took, I haven't even tried any of these out. But do you see this gorgeous palette? Like, I feel like I'm going to get a lot of use out of this, especially on my channel. And during the summertime, these pinks are going to be beautiful. You could do these during the fall. And I think that it gives you a good variety. So I'm super excited about that. But this is the final look in our BoxyCharm Get Ready With Me. 
and I hoped you guys liked it. Thank you so much for those of you who take the time to watch to the end like comment and support my channel on other forms of social media if you did like this video please give me a big thumbs up comment down below and let me know which of these was your favorite product or which of these would you have been excited to receive in a box hit that subscribe button on your way out and turn on your notification bell so that way you can be in the loop whenever I post a new video. I do post every single Friday on all things beauty. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.